Zoom here and what I want to talk about today is my weight loss journey. It's been off and on or whatever like that, but I am starting new. Don't have nothing to do with New Year's resolution and stuff like that. Now, I know you're probably asking yourself, what happened to the gym? Haven't really been going to the gym since the last year. I've just been working out at home because now they build a new gym downtown. My husband, he works out after work now. so And he pretty much don't like the area, the, the location we used to go to. He pretty much don't really like it there. He liked it downtown better. So um, probably come spring, I'll probably head back to the gym. You know, with just me working out, he could go to the massage. You know, they have massage chairs and stuff like that. He just sit it out in there while I do my workouts. But until then, there's home workouts. I had, I still have workout tapes of DVDs I had for years that I'm going to utilize. I'm going to take it old school from the firm. Uh, I have the firm workout system. You saw that in the other previous video. All the tapes I had. And that's not even all of it, guys. Um, from that to online workouts, I created a whole playlist. Um, I'm going to put this in the card section in this video. Probably up here. And also check the description box, too, for the link. But I created a whole playlist of all these exercise videos on YouTube. Plus, YouTube had Fit TV, I believe. They have like a Fit TV channel with a whole bunch of workouts. Denise Austin, um, many, many uh, workout instructors. And it's free on YouTube, so I'm going to utilize that. Um, I've lost weight before without a gym. And I believe I could do it again. So, um, right now I'm exposing myself. I don't weigh myself because the beautiful thing about the firm, um, the firm system is we don't go by weighing yourself. You go by how your clothes fit. Um, I'm going to go by measurements because constantly weighing yourself all the time, it could be discouraging. And plus weight fluctuates. The weight could go up, it could go down for whatever reason. So um I don't weigh myself. I go, I'm gonna go buy um video recordings, like you know, like the video documentations and things like that, and measuring myself and comparing how my clothes fit, like if you know, the, the looseness of the clothing. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that now earlier. This morning, I did do my workout. I did a three-mile walk. walk. Walk Yourself Strong from the Walk Away to Pound series. Um, that's also in my playlist. So I did that this morning. And then I did two firm workout systems um, last week. My goal is to do two to three firm workout tapes plus utilize cardio. When I work, when I lost weight before, I lost a lot of weight. I was literally like out the 200 mark, but then um, something happened. I got depressed, and then I started gaining my weight fast. Started eating cookie dough and going to, going to eat out every day. I just slipped back, you know, until my bad habits again. I don't eat out as much as I used to. Now, even though I wasn't going to the gym, I did, you know, I watched my eating. Like the only time. We would eat out if maybe no more than twice a week. Then during the week, I would have what you call um I won't I will I won't eat, eat like no pasta, no rice, none of that. I might have some bread, but it's usually wheat bread. But if I have pasta and rice, um it will usually be on a cheap day. Like for example, like say if um, I fried some chicken last week, but I won't eat no rice or pasta. I'll just eat vegetables, like steamed vegetables. That's how I usually I would eat. So, like if I had fried foods, I'll try to eliminate the pastas and the, the carbs. 
So my goal is to cut down the carbs and only replace it with good carbs and lots of fruits and vegetables. I'm gonna drink more water. My water intake kind of suck. I gotta up my water game up because when you drink water, water actually shrink fat cells. So yeah, so I'm gonna up my water intake to at least a half gallon or maybe a little over a half gallon. In the summertime, my plan is to drink a gallon of water per day. So, yeah. I still drink my alkaline water using water and um, apple cider vinegar or lemon juice. Um, I've incorporated ginger in it because ginger is very good. It um, boosts, metab helps boost metabolism and everything like that. So, yeah. Let's get started. So, I've done good, and I also did what I call what I call cardio Sundays. Like when I started off with the firm system, I used to work at FedEx, and that was a very physical job. So what I would do, I used to do cardio on my off days. So now I work from home. You know, I would do cardio any other day, but I'm gonna start that doing cardio Sunday. I do a half hour to an hour of cardio, and then I incorporate. The firm workout, which is interval training, what is weights, and then you do cardio off and on um, to get faster results. Because when you do interval training and you confuse the body, it actually boosts up and boosts up your metabolism. Now, when I started the system, I was in my 20s. I am 40 now. No, 42. I will be 43 in March. Birthday coming up. When the 10 year wedding anniversary coming up, uh, I gotta get this. I gotta, this gotta go. And right now, I have a no letter on. That's why I titled this I'm Exposing Myself. Because I'm gonna show you the different areas I want to lose. And I'm gonna show you my belly and stuff. I'm gonna take the shirt off. Because this is actually a bra. So, uh, yeah. So, I think I'm doing good so far. I'm not gonna document every little thing on here because if you don't see me document something that doesn't mean i'm not doing anything now that doesn't mean i'm not doing something like just a few weeks ago i walked a mile actually two and then during the holiday season when we went shopping and whatever like that um grocery shopping for the thanksgiving i, I already walked another two miles so, but i didn't put i didn't document that so you know, but that counts. So I'm gonna try to utilize the um, my fitness pal app and the website too. So I'm gonna try to utilize that again to keep in my workouts. So yeah, this is um this is the DVDs I need to show y'all. I told you I had more. I had um I had another DVD, the belly dancing slowdown, but it broke. When we moved here, when we was moving our stuff from storage, it broke on me. So I had to order another one. I got it basically from Amazon. So yeah, I had this for a long time. During the time I had my um my firm system, I had this. This is the first one. I think she had another one. But yeah, this is old school. It's pretty old. This I ordered this. This one I think I got in 2010. These are like the fairly new ones. I got this. This is this is for this don't have weights. This is just dance. Like if I'm gonna do cardio and I just wanna make it a little bit fun, I could do a dance on DVD. And this is a butt kicker. This is a butt kicker, guys. This is an hour moment. Yeah. These firm workouts could range from a half hour to an hour. Yes. This one is 40 minutes long. She will kick your butt. I'm telling you. This instructor right here ain't no joke. I don't cuss that her plenty of times on the TV. You hear me? Well, most of these is, um, are good workouts, or butt kicking workouts. I'm telling you right now. All of them are good. But I got these from Amazon. So. And I also plan on, because, you know, knee injury, there's certain um, 
things I cannot do, like to get on my knees and stuff like that. So I used to have um, a stability ball. You know, like that big ball you could sit sit on here and do like ad work with it. Um, but I don't know what happened to it. Um, it was a piece missing and the air key coming out of it. So I'm going to purchase another one. So when I do my push-ups, um, I could get on there. I could do my, you know, my push-ups on the ball. And it would, you know, ease up on my knees. So I'm planning on doing that. And incorporating that, modifying that into these workouts when it calls for floor work. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Taking that motorcycle, they like bike for a little bit. I don't know. So, um, let me pause it. Okay, I'm back. When the freezer and got my water, you can see the ginger floating around in there. I'm just gonna keep talking. Without further ado, I have to take my shirt off. You can see me. Okay. Slim down too. Um, so yeah, these thighs, these thighs, the thighs, and I ain't gonna pull my pants all the way down so you can see my thighs. Now, if I had on shorts, you know, it'd be easy, but like right here, I want this cut, like all this fat in the thighs, these in between thighs, this right here, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Right here, you can't see through here, I don't think, but while that jiggling, got to go. 
that's what these plie, those plie squat squats, those plies, you know, those squats on ballerinas do, the fur has a lot of that. That's going to work that out and tighten it up. Um, outer thighs, got to go all, that, all the fat, that hair got to go. You know, the fat that's like behind the knee, that be sinking. I want that lifted up and going. So, yeah, that's basically it. This tone, this tone, and this one down. Pretty much the whole body overall. The good thing about the firm workout is it's total body. I love total body workouts, which means you work upper, you work your lower body, and you work abs. So, that's the great thing about those, those workouts, and that's why I'm incorporating it in my workout regimen. I'm going to do two to three workout, um, firm workout tapes or DVDs or exercises per week. And then I'm going to incorporate that with cardio. Now, for my, the, for to get to the goal I want to get to, come September, if I want to lose 80 pounds, want to go by pounds, or if I want to lose X amount, I didn't uh, do my measurements yet. I may incorporate that in another video, but I didn't do my measurements yet. But right here, in my hips, I'm like a 58. And yes, I have wide hips. I'm like a 58 in my hips when I last measured myself. I'm in the upper 50s. I'm like in the upper 40s here. And here, I'm in the upper 40s. So, basically. Yeah, you could, you could <laughs> imagine that. But yeah, right here, I'm like upper 40s, uh, upper 40s, maybe early 50s, maybe a little bit of that. It depends on uh, how much water I have or what I ate and stuff. But you know how you load up and you got that water tension and stuff? Um, I reduced my salt intake because last year when I was sick, I was swollen as a mother. My feet and legs were swollen like off and on for months, for months. And as soon as I stopped, this, uh, I really eliminate, not eliminate, but I reduced the salt intake and I replaced it with garlic salt, swelling went down. Swelling went down. I haven't had swollen ankles and feet since. Haven't had swollen ankles and feet since. Um, if I do use salt, it's just a little bit. That's it. I don't. I don't use salt every day anymore. I just use seasoning salt or garlic salt. Garlic salt is like my main salt now. Went down instantly. I'm not gonna say it may work for you, but that's what had worked for me. As far as that now. Doctor said I'm healthy, I have no diabetes, I have no high blood pressure, no issues like that. Main concern is weight, and I'm going to get this down. I'm going to get this down. That's why I have the three tees on right now because it's war. I've been going, I mentioned that before, it's war. And I'm going to win it. Watch me. <laughs> but anyway, I have my arsenal. All it takes is for me to use it. So, anyway, um,. That's all I have to say for right now. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, stay tuned for you know the next video. So, okay, guys. I see you later. Bye.